as you can tell, we have another Marshall speaker with us today, and it's actually really nice. Hey guys, we have the Marshall Middleton with us today, and despite the middle in the name, this is not anywhere in the middle of anything, price included. Before we get into the review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. So let's talk with design. It's super classically martial with, you know, the black grill and gold logo on the front. Around the sides and top and bottom, it's a rubberized material to protect the speaker and it does feel rather durable. Unfortunately, because of that rubber material, it can get a bit sticky and thus does get stuck on it quite easily. This is a two-tweeter, two-woofer, two-passive radiator speaker which explains why it's on the bigger side. At 1.8 kilograms, it's not as lightweight as you would normally go for in a portable speaker, although there is a strap which allows you to carry it around. The strap is a bit unique, by the way. It fastens with a screw, which I guess gives you a bit more peace of mind instead of a button or something. So yeah. Inside, there are four Class D amps, two 20 watt for the woofers, and two 10 watt for the tweeters. On top, you get a bunch of stuff. The gold multifunction button that serves as a power button, play pause button, volume control button, and track skip button, depending on how long you press the button or the direction that you move the button in. There are also control buttons to boost or lower the bass and treble, as well as a button to put the speaker into pairing mode and another button that lights up the battery indicator bar with current battery levels. On the back, you get a USB-C charging port as well as a 3.5mm aux in port, which is nice and you can use these with whatever you want, phone, computer and all that. Unfortunately, these ports aren't covered up, but the Middleton does still have a IP67 rating so no problem bringing this to the beach or to the pool. Moving on to software, this works with the Marshall app, which is pretty simplistic. You get battery level as well as bass and treble EQ controls, and you can group other Middleton speakers in stack mode, which Marshall has been using to call their grouping system for a while now. And that's about it. Coming to connectivity, as mentioned, there's a 3.5mm input port, and the speaker runs on Bluetooth 5.1 with support for only SBC, which is, well, slightly disappointing. No mic care either, so no voice controls and such. Battery life is pretty okay, with Marshall claiming 20 plus hours in the speaker and a charge time of 4.5 hours. Depending on how loud you're playing your music, I reckon you can easily get an average of 15 hours on a single charge at least. But let's talk about the sound. This sounds big. The soundstage and projection is great, there's plenty of power, and for a single speaker, the left-right separation is pretty darn good. There's also plenty of tight, controlled bass. The sub-bass rumble is decent, although it's not as powerful as I would like. Mids-wise, it's rich and detailed, although slightly recessed. The treble is decent, you get a bit of sparkle and crispness here, and it's easily boosted via the onboard controls or in-app controls if you want.
But at the 499 Singapore dollar or 299.99 US mark, this is pretty expensive. There are other speakers out there offering more codec options, a lighter, more portable package and all that. With a discount, this would be much easier to recommend. Regardless, if you have the money and you like Marshall's aesthetic, then this is a great speaker for you to bring around your house to the living room, the kitchen, the bedroom, and even out and about if you don't mind the almost 2kg weight. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Marshall Middleton speaker. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to us and like this video. Till the next one, see you guys!